right, this is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13. Today I got a rehab project here. This is for a Tacoma. A uh, client purchased these uh, used as well as a grill, and I'm hoping that they were just a DIY project. I hope no one actually paid money for these initially. They were in really bad shape. So what I did was I uh, had to buy new housings, and I transferred over the internals because they are uh, all painted. Got the shroud is painted, that back reflector bowl is painted, and also this front trim is all painted. Uh, it's all rattle can, so it's nothing too impressive. I also installed RGB demon eyes, as well as that halo around there. I switched back halo for a running light. And also, these little reflector things that he's got that little uh, TRD logo in there. Uh, got the, some LEDs put behind that to light it up and make it look good. Ultimately resealed it, so I'm going to show you some of the fancy things that this does. Well, for starters, we've got the running light. Like I said, there was a halo in this before, but it was really junky. And uh, whoever did this cut all of the wiring, so I uh, had to basically just rehab everything from the ground up. Uh, both the high beam solenoid wiring, the wiring for the halos, which just yanked them and put in new ones. Also, all the HID kit, uh, had to provide a new one for that. Unfortunately, it's a really cheapo eBay projector in there. But ultimately, we're still running the Morimoto H1 uh, Elite HID system. So we'll get some decent light output out of it. But like I said, this is just the running light, which just looks really cool. And I can show you what it looks like uh, as, a, as a turn signal. Because these are switched back. This would be kind of like a hazard situation though, of course. Pull that off, it goes right back to it. All right, now I'll show you the demon eyes. Turn those on. Uh, since we've only got one RGB product and a three-channel controller, I've got them wired up separately, left and right individually controlled. So as you can see right now, I'm playing with the passenger side lighting. and leave that on like a green color. And then I can switch over to the driver side light and just play with that and make that any color that I want as well. So that's fun. Again, referring back to this TRD logo that's cut out, as you can see, it does light up and it looks pretty spiffy. So that's going to be up to the client as to how he decides that he wants to wire that up. That's basically just some white RGB strips that are mounted behind that. And just because I feel like calling out some bad work, I mean, this is what we were dealing with. Uh, so when I opened these up, we got about three different kinds of sealant here. Super, super gross, disgusting DIY job. Uh, let's hope it was a DIY project and nobody actually paid money for this type of service. So I do support the DIY culture. I think it's great. But if you don't know what you're doing with custom headlights, man, do not play with them. Uh, leave it up to the professionals so that they can get sealed up properly, installed properly, because honestly, Again, I don't know how much he paid for these, but uh, the repair work was pretty costly. So to do a build that would have outperformed this uh, and had very similar features would have, I don't know, it wouldn't have been cheaper, but I could have done a much more cost-effective solution for him. That's what I'm here to do, is to help people out, fix some problems, and send them on their way. And this guy's now got an operational set of headlights that does what he wants, and that's all good. I got the HIDs powered up here, and as you can see, they are, woo, super bright. Uh, again, this is the Morimoto H1 Elite HID kit, running in some little eBay special projectors. So the light output ain't fantastic. The MD2S would be better, obviously, but still, it's a projector, and it is significantly better than running a rear reflector housing, so that's cool. Also, real quick, just to show you what the back sides of these look like, they're fully sealed. Uh, obviously, there's a mess of wires that we got here just so we can wire it up and for the demo purposes but they are uh, well done. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or if you would like a build for yourself. Uh, product information will be in the video description, but pricing isn't really a thing because I didn't do this original build. This is all repair. So don't ask me how much this is because I didn't build it and I would not build it this way. I would build it differently. But uh, you can see any of the other videos for references as far as what pricing is. Or like I said, shoot me an email and we can talk about it. Thanks a lot for watching. This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13. I'll talk to you later. See ya.